Hot 97. Listen, I love when you come through, with. I love coming through. You got great energy since the last time yeah. we spoke. Yeah. So now you put the song more and more out, which yeah. is like what every stoner's anthem yeah shout out to the stoners <laughs> and so i like the artwork katrina who's a warriors fan does not like the artwork <laughs> it's a sensitive subject <laughs> what made you go with that with the the girl looks like she's thirsting over steph curry yeah. just in case you haven't seen it yeah. and instead of steph it's <laughs> <Wiz there. laughs> sorry katrina b i'm sorry you warriors fans why did you go with it just because it you know yeah, I liked how she was looking at him. <laughs> <laughs> like, the look in her eye was like, yeah. Yeah. Who are you going for, Warriors or Cavs? Um, I was going for the Warriors. I oh. like LeBron. I like LeBron, but I really wanted the Warriors to win because it would have been tight. You yeah. Know? It would have been super tight. But, like, you know, you know how that stuff goes. It's because the Bay has the best weed, and they <laughs> love you out there. <laughs> it would have been super tight. It would have been cool. Yeah. So what's going on with the music? More and um, more? Where yeah. is it going to be? And oh, um, that was just a track that I put out. That was just something fun. Um, I got Khalifa out. Mm -hmm. I got Rude Awakening out. And I just dropped Pull Up, mm -hmm. my new single with uh, Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah. I'm about to put uh, put the video for that out. And I got the Sucker for, uh, Sucker for Pain song that's Wayne on the suicide squad yeah with lil wayne and magic dragons logic and ty dollar sign so you're not going to be taking a vacation anytime soon mm -mm, no oh i'm going on tour with snoop uh and next month yeah oh this T is gonna be tickets great. are available now ticket masters it's called the high road <laughs> of course yeah yep. so it's going yeah i'm, I'm pretty busy yeah you, you just this is good though mm -hmm. i'm back to work yeah yeah now you were performing in london and mm -hmm. it was the Red Bull culture clash. Mm -hmm. What was that whole thing with you and PopCon? Was that a joke? <laughs> or was that for real? <laughs> what do you think? I thought it was a joke. <laughs> but then I didn't know because I'm like, um, because I just, I thought maybe you guys were trying to diss each other because you guys were in different groups, like for fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, good. Yeah, it's like it, the uh, the culture clash is a big, it's a big sound clash. Yeah. It's three it's four different genres. Right. Um reggae was represented by Mix Pack and then there was Eskimo Dance who did um uh Grime and then there was UK G they did the more garage sound and then we represented for hip hop. Yeah. So um that was the thing. It was like the the the, the whole idea of it was to go at each yeah. crew and you know talk as much shit as you can. Yeah. Um make make songs over different songs they're called dub plates but uh um, just diss the crew as hard as you can yeah and i think that that specific moment it got like really popular well it was the pop tart yeah you said that <laughs> we all died <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was the uh, that was the war king but i'm peace king now yeah you've yeah. always been that's why i didn't believe it i was like it's part of the show yeah 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 yep Wiz, gosh, everyone should just be your friend. Their lives would be better. Yeah. Let's just be happy, man. Yeah, it's cool being misunderstood, though. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest misunderstanding about you? That would probably be up to somebody else. Yeah. Because I don't really pay attention to what people say. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. I, I only think... gravitate towards the love. I like that. That's when, it. And, and I think that's important, especially with these times. Yeah. In the world. It, yep, because it's easy to focus on the negative because a lot of people they turn on the news and they see bad shit and yeah. they're like oh ugh, and that's what gets a reaction out of them but they don't really react to the to the stuff that makes them happy you know and i think that's important i think you know what people don't care about the good things and i feel that's a problem mm -hmm. like i really you know let's talk about the charities let's talk about the great work that people mm -hmm. are doing instead of focusing on these headlines for just clicks right. and that and that for me has been my biggest thing is that we have to use our platform to do good and right. spread energy which has always been a big reason why wiz it's always great to see you because you have this aura behind you that's just so positive mm -hmm. you know what i mean which is really needed right yeah, now thank you I, I literally talked to some kids um at a graduation today in harlem and i was asking them who their favorite artists were and they were saying that you were and they named a couple names and um i was like why was it like he's happy <laughs> but they, they're eighth graders mm -hmm. 
they want to do great things in this world and they want to put good energy and mm -hmm. i don't know if they correlated what happy meant good energy mm -hmm. do you know what i yeah. mean yep. but kids know man mm -hmm. absolutely and you being a father now it's got to be so important for you to be a role model for yeah. bash yeah how often do, does that go through your mind before you do anything it's crazy it, it trips me out because he's so aware yeah like um i was talking to him the other day and about his hair and um i was like do you want locks like daddy he was like yeah i want my hair like daddy's and i was like well then i gotta take you to the beach you're gonna look like a little beach boy yeah and he's like yeah i want to go to the beach i want to go surfing i'm like all right cool i'll take you to the beach he's like can we go today i'm like nah maybe not today he was like why are you afraid <gasps> i was like whoa <laughs> Bad. yeah i was like wow like I was like, actually, I am. Like, I didn't, I didn't plan it out. It's really hot. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, yeah, I am afraid, but like, I don't want to tell you that. I'm, right. My first instinct was like, nah, daddy's not afraid. But like, I'm like, actually, yeah, I, I really am, and yeah. you knew that. So that's how kids are. Gosh. Yeah, they'll check you. Oh my, that just can. Kids are smart. Yeah, yeah, yep. Is it times where you're like, I can't believe Bash just picked that up? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's nerve wracking. Yeah, it's funny. It's it's the funniest. He's so cute. It's the funniest when he picks up cuss words. <laughs> yeah, cause somebody was like, "Yo, I just seen a big ass B," and Bash was like, "Daddy, that's a big ass B." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, "Well, you are right. Yeah, it is a big ass B, man." <laughs> <laughs> what are you supposed to do? You know, I I love this. I and I love the energy. Last time we spoke, and how great you and Amber are doing it co-parenting. Yeah, man. thank you. This is awesome. I think this is important because a lot of times, again, within our culture, we tend to, you know, bring each other down. But when you see people doing the right thing for the right reasons, mm -hmm. it just makes you happy. And yeah. to hear her talk about, hey, maybe down the road we might have another baby. Mm -hmm. This is, listen, man, this is mm -hmm. good for us. It's good energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, I hope you guys have another baby. It listen, would be cool, right? Bash was one and now we're like listen we need more yeah i mean me being in a good place with her puts me in a good place in life so i'm happy about that too that's awesome and she's doing her thing she has her talk show uh -huh. and you got to be so excited yeah for her. i'm really really happy are you gonna go her. on yeah god this is the relationship goals i know yeah. it's ridiculous but it's like we can all get along baby daddy goals <laughs> baby mama <laughs> goals baby mama goals i liked her response when people are like oh they're celebrating their divorce at the strip club and she mm. was like we're celebrating our love right yeah we were we weren't really doing it for um for that because i don't think we neither of us knew that it got finalized that day um that was just kind of random it was like a coincidence she was with somebody at the time yeah. i had actually met her boyfriend and everything and i was just it was random i was just like yo we going out tonight i just want to kick it with you and like boss up you know and we're we're friends like that where we could just do it this is wiz this is such a great place for you a great space for yeah, you yeah i'm and, happy and you know and a lot of times because we always see you happy in a good space and you know you're still a human being you mm -hmm. go through pain yeah but it's nice to see this yeah i mean you know you we're friends yeah. you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't talk to too many people around that time you were one of the people yeah. that i would talk to and i was hurting really bad yeah. and i didn't show it or go through it with a lot of people but I really had to step back and just deal with that so I can get better. And then after the pain was over, it was like, it's, you know, it's all healing. love. Yeah, it's, it's all healing. love. It's healing. Yeah. This is great. Now the music, mm -hmm. are we going to hear all this? Where is the music going to take the us? The music is going to be crazy. I'm really focused on the music that's out now. Yes. Khalifa and Rude Awakening. And those are more fun vibes. Yeah. Party vibes. Um, the new stuff, gotta wait for it. The new stuff, we yeah. gotta wait. Yeah. What about, I'm just curious, cause I know we're focused on the stuff now, mm -hmm. but what about it makes it so special? Cause the way your face like lit up right now, yeah. it's special. Um, it's new. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody yeah. wants to know what's new. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. I, I'm not going to press you because we're yeah. buds. But I'm Khalifa's not gonna do out that. now. Rude Awakening's <laughs> out now. All right, so in your career, who would you like to work with? I don't know right now. It's kind of weird because 
like I'm so into my producers and I don't say mine like they're mine, but they produce, you know, they made my sound, they pioneered my sound. So really putting them on is my goal. Yeah. And, and to get them to that legendary status and you know what I mean, be able to have people talk about how awesome they are. Not a lot of people do that nowadays. Yeah. They all they're everyone's just so focused on just trying to be the star that they're not trying to put other people on. You've put right. on a lot of people. If you really want to see Taylor Gang come up. Right. I really do. I like, really do, man. We just signed Sosa Man. He's next up. He's out of Houston. And um he's got such a positive vibe and everybody already loves him. But just the fact that he's associated with Taylor Gang, it just makes everything bigger and we got some things coming up. Like, soon as it happens, I'm going to come back and talk yeah. to you again. And it will be like, oh, we talked about this. But, like, yeah, we, we doing some cool stuff. And that's the main goal is people to benefit off of it, you yeah. know, the same way I have. Everybody's not going to have a see you again. You know yeah. what I mean? There's a lot of responsibility that comes with that. Black and Yellow went platinum, by the way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And Definitely he did. And it's not just something that just happens overnight. This right. is years mm -hmm. of work. Right. What was your first big purchase? <clears throat> if you could remember. Um, and it really, till this very day, you're like, I remember that day. I think, like, the first one. Yeah, nah, it would have to be my yellow car. Yeah. Yeah, the black and yellow car. That's that's my first pride and joy right there. Cause <laughs> I remember that so much because I remember going on tour before I bought it. Yeah. And the tour that we went on, it was just me and Will. And we were in a Maxima. Yeah. Oh, and, my God. Yeah. And we drove state to state in a rental Maxima, like a rental car. You feel me? Like from Pittsburgh to Illinois to Ugh. Michigan to freaking St. Louis. Like we drove all around the country in this thing. And the whole time I would go to sleep and wake up dreaming about the freaking the yellow car. And then <laughs> after that tour, you know, I got my check up and I went and bought the car. And I was I was geeked up. I thought I was the man. I still feel like I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> and now, is it more the things that you could buy or is it more the time that you can spend? Because, you know, at this point you've done everything. Someone could look at your career and be like, well, I mean, mm -hmm. he's done it all. He's mm -hmm. worked with whoever he wants to and maybe he'll work with other people. But at this point, what, you know, what do you strive for? I strive for inspiration. Mm. The same inspiration that I get. I just I want to give it off and um, I seek it, you know, and I know there's people out there who are exactly the same oh, way. Yep. You know, they seek that knowledge and they want to be blown away. They they want they want to be entertained and like not know something and be like, wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's my joy in life. Yeah. So to give that off, you know, I feel like that's my um, my gift as well. Yep. You know, I, I um, so that's what keeps me going. Wiz, it's always good to see you, man. You too, and the energy that you leave with us is so contagious. Hey. Like, I'm such in a great mood, which is, <laughs> you know, it's going to probably be annoying to everybody else. <laughs> but I, I seriously, you just leave us with such great energy, Thank man. You. And I can't wait for the new music, yes. which we're excited about because yep. it's going to be new. And then you're going to come see me and Snoop on tour. Yes, yeah. which we won't remember anything the next day, but that's what makes it exactly. the greatest ever. Yep. Ticketmaster, right? Janae Aiko's there, uh, Casey Veggies, and Kevin Gates as well. This is going to be great. Mm -hmm. I want to see you and Kevin Gates have a conversation. Wild, right? Listen, I, you know what it is? Probably because we're the same spirits. Yeah. I we had an amazing time mm -hmm. interview. We just kept going. Yep. Just, I, yeah, very rare. We're we're the we're the special ones. We, you guys need to interview inside. each other. It would be crazy. It would be too real for the camera. <laughs> <Yeah>. Definitely. <laughs>